Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I mentioned to you guys in the last couple of vlogs that I have not been wearing foundation or concealer for the last month or so. And a couple of you asked me to show you what I mean. I know it sounds weird, but yeah, I've just been skipping foundation and concealer altogether because of my watery, irritated eyes. I just couldn't be bothered. Like my eyes tear a lot and mess up my makeup. So I said, I'm just gonna eliminate it and just like wear the bare minimum and that's what I've been doing and kind of loving I'm not gonna lie so let me show you exactly what I've been doing so first let me just say that I will link everything I'm using as long as I can find a link for it down below so if anything stands out or is interesting to you you can definitely check it out easily down below so my first step is primer good old primer and if I'm being honest I don't know if this is weird, but I prefer wearing primer when I'm barefaced. Like, I never really wore primer underneath my foundation. I do have a couple of different primers, but the one that I've been using is the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer by Fenty Beauty. Um, Keisha actually got this for me. And instead of doing concealer and foundation, I jump into bronzer. The goal with the bronzer is basically to kind of give my skin a glow. You know that look in the summer that you have when you get a tan and you don't wear foundation and you're like, oh, my skin looks nice. That's kind of what I've been going for. So I take a nice big fluffy brush and my bronzer. This one's by Milani. It's called Soleil. And I go on my cheeks. High, I keep it high on my cheeks. Try not to go into the apple area. I mainly focus on my cheeks, but I do go across my nose a little bit, my chin, and just a little bit on the forehead. Next, I go in with my contour. And this is actually a powder foundation, but I love the color as a contour for me. Again, this was from Keisha. It just tricks the eye into thinking that you have a full face on because it's adding those shadows back to your face. So I start right here. I blend that, I'm using a fluffy contour brush and I just blend that into the bronzer. I do put a little bit into my temples and my edges are laid down right now, but once I take this off, I'll blend it into my hairline as well. Put a little bit under my jawline. And then I do also put a little bit down the sides of my nose. I try not to go back and dip in just whatever's left on the brush. So next I actually go in and do my brows. This is a brow pencil by Mented Cosmetics. They are black owned and guess what guys? They finally offer shipping to Canada. So shout out to my tonettes who used to send me these in the mail. Thank you so much. I am so glad that they're now shipping to Canada. Anyways, let me just go in and fill in my brows. I'll show you what I've been doing new with my brows as well. Just gonna fill that in. I go underneath and then I go throughout my brow and do little strokes. And then I use the brush end to just blend it in. And that's it. Really simple brow routine. Now what I have been doing differently with my brows um, in order to sort of shape and define them is I've been going in with two different concealers. Is it weird when you guys can't see my mouth moving? Hold on. There we go. <laughs> this concealer, if you remember, um, is a concealer I borrowed from Keisha when I did my heart brow tutorial because it's um, much lighter than me. I've actually been using it to carve out the arch of my brow, which kind of gives me like a brow lift or the illusion of a brow lift. Let me show you what I mean. So I take a little angle brush, dip it in, and I go right under my brow from the arch to the tip. And I sort of drag it down a little bit. 
and it looks crazy, right? Because it's clearly way too light for me. Well, hold on. Then I take my regular concealer, like my actual concealer color, dip my angle brush back into it, and I go from the front of the brow into the lighter color. And then I just blend that together. Like that, and it just gives me a nice sharp line. Um, not too stark, but it gives me like a little bit of a, like it just looks like I've had a brow lift, you know what I mean? Like it kind of raises the arch up a bit. So the brows are done. That didn't really have anything to do with the no foundation look, but I just thought I'd show you anyways because it's just something different that I've been doing. But the next step in my no foundation look is highlight. So I take my highlighter. This is from Becca. It's the Skin Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal. It's my favorite highlight. This was a gift from another Keisha, um, Keisha G here on YouTube. And honestly, she got me this years ago. I've hit pan years ago. I refuse to throw it out because Becca's like out of business now. And if I finish this and I can't find it again, I'm gonna scream cry. So yeah. And I highlight the tops of the cheeks and this just really kind of pulls everything together. And then I also take a little brush and I highlight my nose. I like to do a little exclamation point. so. It a dot and then a line between my eyes and I just really think it's a cute look you don't have to do this but I just like it I also put a little bit of highlight right under my brow right under the arch the main question I got was what do I do with the dark circles so here's what I do guys come in I take a brown powder you can use your eyeshadow you can use your foundation powder you can use whatever you have. I'm just going to use my contour because I have it right here. I take a fluffy eyeshadow brush and I do just a wash of color all over my lid. So just take the brown a little bit. One wash of color all over my lid. It can be messy. And then I take like a thinner eyeshadow brush take some more of the same brown color and go under my lash line. That's it. It's like it kind of disguises the dark circles because you put some underneath. Do you know what I mean? So it kind of just blends and looks like eyeshadow. With this look, because I have no foundation on, I find that misting your face kind of helps the powder meld into your skin and making it just look more seamless. You can use like rose water, um, you can use a setting spray or a makeup refreshing spray, whatever you have. I'm using this, it's by Fenty Beauty and it's the makeup refreshing spray. I like this one because it's a very fine mist. All right, so I put a couple coats of mascara on. My only tip is just to make sure you do top and bottom. Just so it looks more finished. And my last step is lip gloss, guys. And once you're done, of course, you can just go touch up anything that you like. I kind of like to put more bronzer on after I set just because, I don't know, I just really like that warm glow. I'm gonna go ahead and take my hair tie off and blend that out into my hairline. And then I add some earrings and we are good to go, y'all. Ta-da, all done, you guys. This is what you guys have been seeing in the last several vlogs because I've been doing this for probably the last month, yeah. I didn't even wear makeup on my birthday. like. Foundation, I should say. I didn't even wear foundation on my birthday. So this is the look. Um, guys, this might be it for me. Like this might just be what y'all get. I'm definitely gonna do this all throughout the summer because I've always hated makeup in the summer anyways. So yeah, I don't know. It's just, it's fine. I just don't feel like I need foundation. Zoom in. That's it. 
I hope you guys like it. Oh, and my earrings, you guys, look at these. They're new in shop. You guys have been asking me for wooden earrings forever. And um, these are not wooden, but I was playing around with like wooden print on metal. So there are bamboo earrings that look like bamboo. Isn't that cool? I know, anyways. I'm rambling, let me get out of here. Hopefully you found this helpful. I'll link everything I use down in the description box and I'll see you guys in the next video.